What was once great and prosperous has now crumbled to dust. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. I have a very quick video to get into today. First, I want to talk about what has happened in the past and how that leads up until today. Let's begin by taking a look at this. Sears is now a penny stock. So right here, this is a company that was a staple, a staple in many malls around the US, Canada, and more. And you could see that this store would employ many, many people. It was busy, it was profitable, and it would allow for other stores around it, other businesses around it, and this would be an anchor store in a mall, as I said, employing a lot of people directly, but also indirectly. So you would have the food court that would be busy as a result, other stores in the mall could open up, and this was something that was going on for many, many years. Now times have changed, certainly, and competition has come up. But it's not the only one. Can you believe that Sears is now a penny stock? In the latest indignity for a once grand retailer, the share price fell below $1 on Friday for the first time in the company's history, dropping as much as 15 cents, 15% 15 to 85 cents in midday trading. I mean, we are talking about a company that was very large and today it's not worth very much. And we've seen what happens with this company as well as others in the retail sector that have been suffering over the last few years. But it's not just retail, certainly not just Sears. I'm noticing this as being a trend looking at different economies how they weaken how the sectors weaken which brings the economy down and that unfortunately has been quite persistent and that leads me into my next point bank of america cracks down on risky securities with a ban on penny stocks the bank's Merrill Lynch division banned the purchases of risky securities in late July and added restrictions to sales in September. All right, so anything priced under $5 a share from companies with a market cap under $300 million will be subject to regulatory review. So they're going in and trying to restrict this, trying to ensure that individuals are not buying these type of stocks and hoping that it will become something that will result in less failures. Whether or not that's the case, I don't know. But essentially, they're tightening up. I think it's important to do so over time. However, they're not going to stop people from investing it in, in it. That's the fact that we need to look at. You know, these things here, we can see a lot of these companies that will impose restrictions ultimately that just opens the door for another company to get those clients so i don't think that this is going to prevent any issues from occurring in the future i just wanted to bring that to you that's all for this video i really want to know your thoughts on what's happening with the general economy remember i'm talking about the economy i am not talking about the stock market itself when we look at the economy we need to understand how everything correlates it's very important to address this as a whole not well the nasdaq is looking good well the amazon stock is looking good i want to know what you think is going on with people buying products people shopping people working are they fully employed today do you know people that are living in a situation that is let's say less than preferable maybe they live in an rv not because they enjoy that lifestyle, but because they can't afford a home. 
Maybe they're living in a van. Maybe they are underemployed and they want to be fully employed. Maybe they work part-time and they want to work full-time. Maybe they're not getting the benefits that they need and so that's burdening them through health care or something. Maybe they want something but can't get it and what is the cause if it's the economy, if it's the job situation, if it's the neighborhood, if it's something that we can address, I want you to please let me know in the comments. If you found the video informative, then please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, it helps to support the channel. So I do appreciate that very much. And last but not least, if you want to check out these books, this is the financial education you were not taught in schools. Just check it out. Link is in the description. If you're more interested in the audiobook version, you can get that at themoneygps.com.